YouTube. Welcome in my Samsung Tab. The Samsung Tab 2 is the GTP3110. Here you can see it. The one that we routed, the one that we bricked and fixed again. So let's take a look at this tablet. What am I doing with it and how does it look? Hey, what is this? This thing looks like an iPad book. Yes, this is um, the best best um, iOS skin out there iOS home screen we say home screen in Android out there uh, it's called the here it is the one what was it called don't even see the name about us well this is the you will you will find it immediately if you look into the Play Store. It's one of the best home screens, but we're not gonna talk about the home screen. We're recording by the way with SCR free. This is only possible because we are rooted. We can record about three minutes and then the video will stop and then you know I will have to make a new video and then combine the videos and make one nice little video for my YouTube. So what do I have on this thing? Well in fact I have installed several little things to test also try to install Linux on this thing but I don't see a point why I should do it this is already Linux I mean like this is the best Linux for tablets Android so no need to you know go install even more crazy things on it but what I'm using it for for instance is for the car this is my dashboard see that here you can like uh, yeah get many other apps as well and this will be like you know your car PC so I'm still working on that and of course uh, yeah what are we doing more with this thing connect to our uh, other machines such as our Macs in the house also very nice thing to do also had a very nice little home screen that I wanted to show you uh, if I can find it I think it was here somewhere uh, tools boop, boop, boop. oh yeah the OSX launcher take a look at that Welcome to part 2. We're now um, in the same tablet using the OS X launcher. So here we can add uh, apps. We could for instance add our... Uh, oh yeah, it's called One Launcher. We could add navigation. The Navi. Here we could add something else. Uh, well, name it, screen recorder. Here we could add even more my files and here we could add settings or so but the settings are also there so this is ridiculous to put this so um, yeah well it's uh, not bad I must say on the 4.2.2 what did I do I did do some changing let me show you what I did I installed uh, root uninstaller let me see if I can find it root um, in. no I don't even know where it is um, I used it last night to Dashboard system to make S3 old FIFA video Windows 7 Windows file manager maybe here no I get a little confused sometimes with things we install them and then they're not even there I know it's my fault Well, as 
as you can see this is 4.2.2 but you don't see any Samsung app on this thing because I uninstalled all I, I uninstalled all wait let me show you in programs in apps what I'm still having so this is a very nice little light system but you must be careful what to remove eh? so I think I'm gonna make a video about that <coughs> about things I also have a firewall you see that a rooted firewall you must be rooted eh, to, to be able to to even think about things like this these are all the apps that I installed here it is system app uninstaller ah I couldn't find the icon it looks like a garbage can let me see if I can find it really fast now let's see if we can find the garbage can why can't we find it it should be it should be here unbelievable you see that peeps you see that I'm not lying you see that I'm not lying it's not even showing me all the apps that are installed on this thing eh? we go back to settings and we go back to app and you will see these are all the apps that are installed the dashboard we saw the dashboard assistant we saw but I couldn't find this one here this system app uninstaller you see this is what I use to uninstall all these oh there it is system app uninstaller it did found find it in the search so this is what it is in fact um, yeah well you cannot see it too good I'm uh, yeah I will have to turn the screen but here you can see that there's no Samsung app anymore on this tablet I removed all of them eh? but you must be careful not to remove essential stuff otherwise you might you know screw up the tablet and then you must reinstall everything again but as you can see no Samsung uh, nonsense eh? It's all gone. So in fact this is a kind of light uh, ROM because I removed uh, several hundreds of megabytes uh, of this ROM. So this ROM is not so... Uh, uh, what is this kind of nonsense? Uh, this ROM is not so heavy anymore. Let's look at the info. At the drive. How much Android is taking. Um, let me see. Opslag here uh, system geheugen diverse bestanden SD card 1.6 this is the SD card beschikbare ruimte I have like 2 gigabytes free so I have 6 in use but these are also some stuff that I installed, you know. Also doing some video works on this thing. And, uh, well, that's it, in fact, peeps. In fact, um, yeah, you can go ahead and go root the thing. And if you root the tablet, you will have uh, a better experience with many stuff, many things. Will go even uh, sweeter and, and better, you know. And you will be able to, you know, do crazy things like uninstall Samsung apps that are only there, you know, doing their own belongings, you know, not even there to serve you. At least that's what I found out. These things are, you know, popping up on the background and start doing all sorts of things that I'm not even aware of. You know, tablet starts downloading, downloading and you're seeing things are being downloaded, but you don't even know what you know is being downloaded and what in fact is going on on your tablet because at the time that is busy doing all these things it's also kind of slow it's not responding you know so yeah I just removed them all I think this is the way how you can make your own safe custom ROM 
you know i say safe because you know if somebody else uh, creates a custom rom you never know what that guy is doing in there and uh yeah it's just all trust of course you have the xda developers looking into the work of the yeah but you can also find you know uh, a guy you know uh, saying that he has a good rom on some site and he did some modifications on the on the rom that will make the rom spy on you or whatsoever you know so you must be careful with that um you can root the original rom of samsung and then you know uh, use something like i just showed you the uninstaller the root uninstaller i i would go for this one you know this one also tells you if it's important or not you know so you don't remove like real important things but I was able to uninstall all Samsung apps, no Samsung app on this thing anymore. Uh, so I think this is my kind of um, custom ROM for the Tab 2. I will just leave it like this. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I must look into uh, to it uh, what we're going to do if we're going to install Android 5 on it. But in fact, you know, uh, to have the safest uh, option for this tablet is the best to run this uh, latest yeah whatsoever 4.2.2 for this tablet uh, yeah I think it's probably the safest cause if Samsung or no company will you know make Android 5 for this tablet you know then it will be only a custom ROM available and using that you know could be good but could also be bad for you so that's it peeps thanks for watching i hope you think this video was cool if you think it was cool please like it and subscribe to my channel and of course till my next video bye bye